All right, also on Saturday, Patriots at Colts. Colts favored by two and a half here. Pats trying to keep their seven-game winning run intact. Jeff, too high or too low? I think this one's just correct. Uh, I I really do. I don't think you can put the Colts at minus three. Uh, I just think that the Patriots are too good a team to do that. At the same time, I mean, you, you like the, the Colts are a, a really solid team. I mean, they they obviously have a fantastic offensive weapon in Jonathan Taylor. They've got a good O-line. They've got a great D-line. They can get beat through the air a bit, but, you know, can, can, they're also taking on like a rookie quarterback who obviously is very good, but still a rookie, right? So I don't know how much more. I don't I don't think the Patriots should be like uh, any any smaller favorites or any smaller underdogs or excuse me, bigger underdogs. But um, at the same time, like this, like you have the one thing I would keep an eye on with this game, especially is the injury report, because Adrian Phillips a little bit banged up. The Patriots also Damian Harris a little bit banged up. They came out of that game against Buffalo a little bit banged up. And I know they had the bye week and Bill Belichick off the bye 18, 11 ATS, you know, since like the beginning of time or whenever he took over basically. But um, it's still, this is a tough game. I, I think this game should be very close in the spread. And I don't think it should be getting up to three. So I'm going to say this one is is pretty much 100% correct where it is. Pierce, the Patriots are three and one against the spread when underdogs by two and a half points or more this season. Forget the spread. Let's play the money line. This this is too high. Take the Patriots in this game. Uh, I've, I've suddenly become a New England Patriots truther, but it's Jeff's fault. Jeff went over, you know, the individual losses by the Patriots this season. And it's a pretty compelling case that this team is close to an undefeated football team facing Indianapolis, continuing with the Belichick theme. We know what Bill Belichick's going to do. He's going to try to shut down their one main weapon. That's going to be Jonathan Taylor. Easier said than done. But if they can limit Taylor and, and make Carson Wentz beat them, I like the Patriots' chances when you've got to get beaten by Carson Wentz and some, I don't know, slightly above average wide receivers. And you look at the other side, New England or or Indianapolis plays this bend but don't break defense. They give up a lot of underneath routes. Well, that's what Mac Jones does. When you look at intended air yards per pass attempt, Mac Jones ranks 21st, just a 7.5 intended air yards per pass attempt. And when Mac Jones has gotten in trouble, the games that he has lost, that's when he's taking deeper shots downfield when he has an intended air yards above eight. Those are games that he's lost. So you're kind of playing into his strength. They're going to let Mac Jones throw these short passes. They should be able to get the run game going. I like the Patriots money line. 